Hey, what's up, Crypto Army? I'm Travis, your crypto newbie, bringing you my experiences so you don't have to learn things the hard way. Just a reminder, I'm not a financial advisor, and none of my content should be viewed as financial advice. If you like my content offers, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like that video, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you get notified when I post more content. So what are we going to cover today? Today is going to be the first of a couple videos that I'm going to dedicate towards the Solana ecosystem. First, I think it's probably relevant that we take a look at a wallet. I've already covered Solana and I've already covered Star Atlas. Well, in order to demonstrate the how to buy and how to how to get those cryptos or tokens into your wallet, we need to kind of cover how to do that. So I think it's probably a good starting point is to look at a wallet. And one of the two wallets I like best are Phantom Wallet and Math Wallet. So we're gonna do Phantom Wallet, and then if you want, I can cover Math Wallet in a future video. Just let me know in the comments. But I like Phantom Wallet because it integrates from the web browser for most things. And on the Solana ecosystem, with the price for sending stuff between walls is pretty negligible. So it's not a real big issue to have to send things, unlike on any Ethereum-based network. So today we're gonna to take a look at how do you set up your Phantom Wallet? And we're gonna go through the entire process. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we have to do is go to the website to set up our account. So we go to phantom.app, and I'll put this in the description. Now, if you don't wanna do it this way, just Google Phantom Wallet, and the first link that pops up is gonna be for the Phantom Wallet. So it's very easy to do, but I will put all the links that I reference in this video in the description. Now, what do we need to do? I'm in a Firefox browser, so all I need to do is hit Add Firefox and it's gonna take you to the add-ons for Firefox. And you click Add to Firefox, access your data for all websites, hit Add. Now you can manage your add-ons and themes through the application menu, and you can also allow this in private browsers if you use private browsers. I'm just gonna hit OK, and I'll change the setting later if I want to. Now we need to create a new wallet, or you can recover a previous wallet. Now it's gonna give you your seed phrase or your recovery phrase. Now in the previous step, if you've already got a wallet, that's where you would have clicked the button and this is what you would have entered in there. Now I've got it, I've got it masked so you can't see what I've got, but you would want to copy this word for word in the order that's on here on a piece of paper or on some sort of an external someplace else other than your computer. It's never good to store this stuff on your computer because it can get accessed. And if you put it into your cloud or something like that and somebody hacks it they can get access to your digital wallet so it's not always the best thing to click this copy button and i just clicked it to just to demonstrate it's not always the best thing to do that the best possible option you have is to write it down and put it into a safe a fireproof safe or you can also use one of these and it allows you to punch right down on these metal plates what your seed phrase is in the order that it's supposed to be. These are a great option because they're generally fireproof or they're definitely a lot more resistant to fire than a piece of paper is. And you can order more of these metal plates for more wallets you have. Because in reality, you can't just have one wallet and do everything, not with cryptocurrency. So you're gonna have multiple wallets and multiple seed phrases. So these are a great option. I'm gonna put the link for this in the description. I do get a small commission if you use this one. This is the one I have, and it's great. Now, it's a little pricey. Uh, the reason why it's pricey is because you get that punch set with it. And the plates are titanium, so they're even more durable than most of them out there. So these are a great option. If you don't already have one of these, I highly recommend getting one of these. It's the safest way to do it, and you can always make more of these just buying more of the plates. And these, these are pretty easy. All you need is a hammer and the punch is pretty simple. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay, I saved it somewhere. Now I have to create my password. And now that I got my password, I just have to hit the save button. Now it's gonna tell you how you can quickly access the Phantom wallet at any time, hitting Alt Shift P. If that's something you wanna be able to do, then I highly recommend you write that down with your seed phrase. That way it's conveniently stored in the same place or next to your keyboard wherever is easiest for you to remember. So from here, we'll just hit continue and we're all done. And you can see up here, pin the phantom extension to make it easy. And we hit the finish button. Creating our phantom wall was just that easy. Now it'll work anywhere where they accept the phantom wallet. Now, if you've been watching my videos, this site might look familiar. This is the Star Atlas page. 
So let's go see what happens when we connect our wallet. And you'll see that Phantom Wallet's right here, so we hit connect. It'll pop up here. Do I want to connect? And yes, I do. And now I am connected. And it's that easy. And it says right here, wallet connected. So if I had anything in my wallet, and I don't because I just set this wallet up with you, I would be able to buy at the Star Atlas website using the funds that I've got in my Phantom Wallet. And that's how you set up the Phantom Wallet. Now you might remember that little notification about extensions. I'm just gonna clarify a little bit about that. So if you go up here, you'll see this is the Phantom extension link. So if I click this, I'm gonna be able to access the Phantom Wallet. And you can see, whenever you see Wallet 1, that's a good indicator you can have more than one wallet. So if you go up here, now that you've got one set up, it's really, really convenient to set up a second. And I do have a second wallet. This is just one that I've set up for this YouTube video and I'll probably use it for future videos as well, which is why I wanted to keep the, the seed phrase uh, and the address masked. But then you've got the ability for receive and send, deposit, and then you've also got your manage your token list. So if we click manage your token list, we can see what do we have options for. And it's, it's a pretty robust list. And they've got a lot of different stuff that you can link in here. So let's see if uh, Atlas is in here. There it is. What about Polis? There it is. So you can see we can have a lot inside of our wallet. Let's close this out. Here's where you can look at your collectibles if you've got any kind of collectibles already. Here's the integrated swap. Now, there's not a lot of options for the swap and Phantom's a relatively new product, but it's a really exciting product. It's, and that's why I'm covering in this video because this is probably the most familiar setup to what Ethereum and Binance are. I mean, it looks just like Uniswap or it looks like PancakeSwap, but it's a very convenient approach to it. But what you're gonna notice is there's not a lot of options for their swap right now. That's it. So I'm gonna show you a way to swap without using the phantom swap while they build out the potential swap pairs. And then if we click here, you can see all your recent activity, and then you get your settings. Your address book, your trusted apps. You got quite a few options in here. Remove the wallet and everything else. So those are your options inside of the Phantom Wallet. And that's how you get there. Now you can either click here. Now remember, if you set this up in Firefox, it's not gonna work in another browser. You'd have to set it up in there as well, but now you've already got a wallet. So you would just use your seed phrase to link it in that particular browser. This was just setting up in Firefox. Now we can also use the shortcut on the keyboard to do the exact same thing, but it's a lot more convenient to, to click this button unless you're already using your keyboard. Hopefully that helps explain how to access your wallet and how to use it. I hope you found this video helpful. As I said in the beginning of the video, this is gonna be the first of a couple different videos. The next video is gonna talk about how to buy Solana, what's the easiest and most cost-effective approach to buying Solana. And then after that, we're gonna take a look at actually buying Star Atlas. So tune in for those videos when I get there. If you like this content, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications so you get notified whenever I publish new content. It really does help the channel grow. Now there will be a short ad regarding the referrals and you can get up to $2,340. So if you haven't already signed up or haven't watched that ad, definitely take a look at that because it's just free money. Until next time, stay strong with those diamond hands. Crypto Newbie here to tell you how you can get $2,340 in free stocks. All the links I use in this video are in the description. Sign up for Webull and get two free stocks valued up to $2,300. Your first stock is free automatically. Deposit any amount and you get your second stock. Deposit one penny and you get your second stock. Total value could be up to $2,300. Generally $5 per stock is what you get. Next we have Block Fee. Get $10 in Bitcoin just for signing up. A read the fine print. I've got a rewards account. You'll get $40 in Bitcoin as will I. So you know exactly what I'm going to get and what you're going to get. You do need to deposit $100 to get your $40 in Bitcoin. That's the overview of how to get $2,300 $40 just by signing up for accounts.